I swear, I like Ferrelis, but there are so many stunning neglected pieces that are just as worthy of your time. We already covered five in a previous video, so do check that out if you haven't already. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy five more pieces to play instead of Ferrelis. It's a shame that Borodin didn't write more for the piano, because what little he did write is exquisite. To start, here's a favourite of mine, the serenade from his Petite Suite. Despite its short duration, this wonderful miniature bears all the hallmarks of Borodin's distinctive style – passionate melodies, rich harmony, and a captivating rhythmic drive. Next we have Edward McDowell's To a Wild Rose. The story goes that McDowell sketched this work during breakfast, but didn't think much of it, crumpling it up and tossing it at the fireplace. Luckily for us, he missed the fire, and the score was salvaged by his wife. To think, we were that close from never hearing this poignant piece, with its simple pentatonic tune and pastoral feel. Cécile Chaminade's Elegy is a criminally underrated gem of the early 20th century repertoire. A gentle, rocking, left-hand figure accompanies a modal song-like melody in the right hand. For anyone unfamiliar with this wonderful composer, let this be the gateway. Like so many people, I was immensely inspired by Chick Corea, and deeply saddened by his recent passing. He left us with so much remarkable music. Our next piece is one of his most popular, the first of his 20 children's songs. simple. Perhaps you've been following the beat like this. But that's not quite right. By the way, one is here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> Lastly, we have the eminently catchy Changing Times by composer and teacher Heather Hammond. Initially slow, wistful, and in four, this ballad soon springs to life as a jazz waltz.
hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do consider subscribing, you'd be helping the channel and ensuring that more people get exposed to this wonderful music. Thanks.